Hi, it's Tom, and in this video, we're going to continue with the card box tutorial. Specifically, we're going to look at fields and properties. Um, in addition, we're going to look at uh, one method uh, that goes along with the properties. So a quick review of where we're going with this. We're going to have two private fields, a playing card called My Card, and an uh, orientation enumeration called My Orientation. Um, the properties that will go along with that, we have two properties to, that will set and get uh, the two fields. And then we have three more properties that manipulate um, the uh, face up, rank, and suit uh, properties of the uh, My Card. So let's flip over to the code and have a look at what to do here. So here I am in my Card Box class, which inherits from uh, user control. Um, I've just set up a region here for the fields and properties, and I've already done some of the typing uh, ahead of time. So let me just paste that in for now. So I pasted some code in, and I'm referring to the playing card class, but of course it's complaining about it. If I have a quick look at the error, it's complaining that it uh, doesn't know what a playing card is. Um, we did go through the process of adding the reference, but what I didn't do is add the um, uh, using. Um, now, of course, I could skip it and I could just qualify all of those names with uh, Tom cards uh, beforehand, but that's a bit of a pain. Uh, so you can see once I've added the using, because the reference is already there, um, those errors have gone away. Um, so I've set up each of these properties uh, pretty much exactly the same way. Um, here's the playing card property. It's called my card. It's private. Um, that's the field, I should say. And here's the uh, set and get to go with it. Um, you can see here that I've uh, used the expanded uh, style for for set, uh, and I've used a compact style for get. And you may be wondering, you know, why the discrepancy? And the reason being is we're going to go back in, and uh, we may actually make some modifications to this property a little bit later on. So it's uh, set up with that in mind. Uh, but at any rate, uh, essentially what this does is it sets uh, or gets my card. Okay, uh, the suit property. A little bit different than the card property in that there is no field that goes along with it. It's manip uh, manipulating uh, the my card suit uh, directly, and that actually should say my card. Okay, or actually, you know, I could leave it at card. Sorry, I'll leave it at card because that's the name of the property. Rank works exactly the same way. The face up property works exactly the same way. Um, and now those are the uh, the uh, basic properties. Um, the last one was uh, orientation. So uh, we'll deal with that in a second. But I just want to think a little bit about these properties. Um, they're pretty much uh, very straightforward. Uh, uh, they don't do very much. They just allow these things to happen. But what should happen to our control when, let's say, the suit of the card gets updated, or the rank of the card, or whether it's face up or not? There's a little bit more complex question there. Uh, or when the card changes? And uh, the answer to that is, well, you know, it's going to look different. The, the changing of any of these properties is going to make the actual playing card look different. So what I want to do in, in each case, essentially, is I want to write some code in the set. Um, so after I've actually uh, uh, looked at, oh, okay, what's my uh, what's my new playing card? I've set it my card to that value. Now what I want to do is I want to update my picture box image. So I'll take my picture box dot image property. I'll make it equal to my cards get uh, get card image what the image that it actually returns. Okay, so that will do the trick and that happens when I change the card. Of course that should also happen if I change the suit or if I change the rank or if I change the uh, face up property. All of these things uh, should happen, uh, uh, should always have that same thing happen. Um, let's add the orientation property which is our last property. So there's a private field called my orientation and the property card orientation goes along with that. There's a little bit more involved in the set here, um, because if I change a card from vertical to horizontal, uh, it's going to change the size of the control. Um, so the first thing I do is I check to see if the value is uh, that that's coming in is actually different different 
than the orientation that's already stored. Um, so if I if it's already uh, horizontal, let's say, and I'm trying to change it to horizontal, um, there's really no sense in going through this process. Okay, so I've filtered that out. Um, although it it probably wouldn't have uh, it would still have worked if I if I didn't. It would just be a little bit of redundancy there. Any rate, um, so I change the orientation to whatever the new value is, and I'm taking the control. This control. I'm manipulating its size, okay? I'm making the uh, uh, a new size based on its height and width swapped, okay? So normally, so I'm taking its existing height and using it as the width. I'm taking its existing width and using it as the height. So it's swapping the, uh, the height and width of the actual control, okay? And then I want to update the card image again. Now, there's more to updating the card image at this point than just uh, reloading the picture. I have to rotate the picture as well. So rather than just use the, um, uh, you know, picture box dot image equals my card get image, the, the one liner, I'm going to create a, uh, a little method for helping me out uh, with doing this. So this is my update card image uh, method. It's a private method, so it's only used inside of this class. It's void. Uh, all this uh, method does is it manages whenever we have to update the uh, the card image. So uh, that one liner there, my picture box image is equal to get card image, that happens. And now I'm also dealing with um, the image rotation. So I'm looking at the uh, my orientation property and if it's horizontal, okay, then what do I wanna do? I wanna take that picture box image, which I've already set to the card image, I wanna rotate it uh, 90 degrees without any uh, XY flipping. Okay, so that's how I actually rotate the image along with the actual card. So now that I've got this update card image, um, just for consistency purposes, this is the method that I'll actually call in the set of each one of these uh, properties. So let me do that now. So I've just gone through and added that call to update card image in the set of each one of these properties. Now, if I go to try to run this right now, okay, I'm gonna it's it's gonna go along and then give me a null reference ex, uh, exception on one of my properties. And the reason being is that uh, I'm referring to my card property, um, but I've never actually instantiated a card yet. Um, and the reason being is I don't have a constructor coded for this class yet. So let's deal with that one. I'll just scroll up and I'm gonna collapse my property fields and properties region for now and uh, oh there's my constructor a card box constructor right there I'll create a new region and I'll just add a little bit of uh, documentation here to my default constructor okay so when I create a new uh, card box uh, control uh, I want the card to be a new card uh, oriented vertically okay um, so I should do this after the uh, component has been initialized. Uh, that's basically, uh, you know, dealing with the um, um, uh, dealing with the form part of it and the form designer part of it. Um, so I want all that stuff to happen before I I really worry about uh, other things at this point. Okay, uh, so I'll just uh, put a little little note in there. Uh, next, I want to initialize my two fields. Um, so I'll do that. My orientation is orientation uh, dot vertical. Uh, my card is a new playing card, so it creates a new underlying card. So let's try running this and see what it looks like in the test container. So when it first loads up into the test container, it's just a gray box. Okay. Uh, I'll scroll down to the miscellaneous properties. And I can see that there actually is a card. It's Ace of Hearts, so it's just not showing yet. Um, so that's a little unusual. Uh, it's got the right size, 75 by uh, 107, and I can manipulate some of these things. Um, so I'll make it uh, horizontal, uh, for example, uh, vertical, and you can see there that it's swapping the uh, the height and width uh, from my property. Um, uh, oh, my face down doesn't seem to be working. That's uh, Oh, there we go. Um, the face up property I set to true. I can actually see the card now. 
I can cycle through some different cards. Uh, let's try uh, King Queen Joker. Joker of Spades. Ooh, something's wrong there. Joker of Diamonds. That's something I'll have to look at. Okay. Um, so it's it's basically working, but there are still a few uh, little issues. Okay, so the first problem I want to deal with is that Joker problem. Um, and I suspect that that actually isn't in this project. This is a real-time problem. I'm not setting this up to uh, to do some learning point. Um, it's probably an issue with my uh, Tom cards, the way that I implemented it. Um, so uh, I'm just looking at the resources really quickly here for the Joker cards. And I can see that here they are and it's joker black and joker red uh, that's not what i want uh, if i go into my card class playing card class and then i scroll down to where i was determining the card image um, it was supposed to be black joker not uh, joker black okay uh, my mistake so i'll fix that up Okay, so hopefully that addresses the issue. I will save that class, and I'm going to close it. I'm going to go to my Solution Explorer, and I'm just going to make sure that my uh, my uh, library is up to date by building it. So that builds the Tom Cards library. And just to be safe, I'll build the control as well. And then I'll run it. It's still blank on it on first uh, when it first loads, so that's one issue that we'll deal with. Uh, we'll go down here. Um, I'll make it face up. I can actually see it now. And we'll try the Joker again. Okay, so success. So there's the Joker. Okay. Sorry, that was Joker of Diamonds, uh, Joker of Clubs. Okay, a little counterintuitive. Uh, the red is black and the black is red. So at least that's functional. So that's it for this video. In our next video, we're going to add a few more uh, methods and uh, some events to our user control. Thank you.